Hello, welcome to the Wednesday, March 25th, 2020 edition of the Sands and Storms on us Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Microsoft released uh, yet another update to their advisory regarding the Type 1 font parsing remote code execution vulnerability. The one thing they sort of clarified is a little bit the targeted attacks they have seen. They only targeted Windows 7 and Microsoft states that an attack against Windows 10 is unlikely due to mitigations that were put in place in the first version released in 2015, according to Microsoft. They're further stating that the possibility of a remote code execution is negligible for Windows 10 and elevation of privilege is not possible. And talking about vulnerabilities for which uh, there is no patch, two days ago, a user reported a denial of service vulnerability publicly to the Memcached team. Now, Memcached is a very popular, fast NoSQL database, and Memcached 160 Oh, and memcached 161 are vulnerable. Now, the memcached team did respond rather quickly and released a fix version 162. So if you're running memcached, do apply the fix. It's only a denial of service vulnerability and you definitely should not expose memcached to the open internet, which sadly keeps happening. And Adobe released an update for its Creative Cloud desktop application. This vulnerability being addressed with the update does allow for arbitrary file deletion. Now, a couple of news websites did label this as a sort of emergency patch because it was not released on Adobe's Patch Tuesday. I believe that Adobe in recent months has more and more moved away from publishing all of its patches on Patch Tuesday. So they have adopted a more sort of spread out model here and really only the flash updates, if there are any, they have to be sort of released on Patch Tuesday if possible because they also affect Microsoft software that's then typically patched the same day. I don't see anything in the release that would sort of justify calling this an emergency patch. It's not publicly exploited. And as I said, it's really only a file deletion, not pretty, but not as bad as something that's typically sort of patched as an emergency. And Microsoft is following several other companies in pausing the release of feature updates. Google, for example, already announced that they're going to focus their resources due to, of course, the coronavirus, work at home policies and things like that to security updates. Now, Microsoft typically publishes their feature updates on the third Tuesday in the month, like today, they released another feature update. They will do the same in April as well, but pause doing so starting in May. And Apple today updated everything, iOS, macOS, tvOS, and watchOS, as well as some applications like, for example, iTunes. Now, as far as iOS and macOS goes, I don't really see any sort of huge red flag there. Bunch of updates to WebKit, of course, where some of these vulnerabilities do allow arbitrary code execution. Interesting update to the mail application. It apparently shared videos uh, that you cropped uh, in the sort of uncropped version. So a recipient may see some content that they weren't supposed to see. And specifically for macOS, there's an update for sudo that fixes a vulnerability that would allow users to run commands as a non-existent user. In addition to sudo, we have a number of other open source libraries and components that are being updated. Uh, for example, when the editor, well, a security vulnerability is being fixed here. 
And if you're running a router with OpenWRT, uh, please make sure that you're running 18.06.7 or 19.07.1. Older vulnerabilities suffer from a rather easy to exploit uh, vulnerability that does allow an attacker to trick your system into not checking the SHA-256 hash that's usually used to prevent tampering with packages. The simple problem problem here is that if this hash isn't formatted right, then it will essentially just not be checked. So pretty easy to come up with an evil crate style exploit for this. And well, that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.